What up? Welcome to Fort Down Friday. I'm Ricardo Lacombe. We're ramping up district play and two long standing rivals in the Catholic League reach a milestone tonight in our game of the week. Jesuit and Holy Cross hold the longest current rivalry series in the metro area as the Blue Jays and Tigers tangle for the 100th time on the gridiron tonight. Andrew Doe got a front row seat for a very good one at Tad Gormley Stadium and he has much more live from City Park. Hey Andrew. Hey Ricardo, yeah, Jesuit and Holy Cross reached the century mark in their series tonight. We apologize for all the noise. There's actually fireworks going on just as this game wrapped up. They call this the Great American Rivalry, and it lived up to the billing tonight. Jesuit and Holy Cross meeting for the 100th time tonight at Tad Gormley Stadium, and Jesuit, who was coming in as the underdog, was the one to strike first blood. Blue Jays quarterback Grant Jordan was 3-for-3 three three for 50 yards passing, and this touchdown toss on this drive alone to Luke LaForge, a 63-yard scoring drive, and it was 7-zip Jesuit. Then later in the half, these two would link up for plenty of first downs and a touchdown to cap off another drive to make it 14-0 Blue Jays. But under 15 seconds left in the first half, and this was a head scratcher, Coach Guy LeCompte for Holy Cross calls a run with Amiri Franklin with one timeout. Instead of taking a shot at the end zone, Franklin is tackled at the 12, they burn their final timeout, and then they miss a 29-yard kick. Just bad clock management, and Jesuit goes into the break with a 14-0 lead. And due to time constraints, we're having to do these second half highlights live. We apologize for the fireworks in the background. Second half, though, Holy Cross came out of the gates hot. John Dade Wooten hit number 13, Alondre Wells, for the five-yard score. Tigers cut the deficit to five. Then Jesuits number 28, a 42-yard try for this field goal. No good on fourth and four. But on the other side, Jesuit, their quarterback, uh, Grant Jordan, was killing him on the ground, a 30-yard rush. He had 67 yards on the ground, their final scoring drive, and he finished it off with this five-yard extra effort touchdown. Look at this. Was he down at the one? Did he fumble? The refs say no, Jordan is in, and Jesuit goes on top 20-14. to 14. Final chance for Holy Cross, but Wooten is sacked and stripped by Max Jubinville and Jesuit wins this game 20-14. to 14. So depending on who you ask, throughout the Jesuit community. Some might say that they are now leading this series uh, 59 wins to just 40 by Holy Cross and one tie, but officially according to the LHSAA, they, they now move to 58 wins in this series to 40 by Holy Cross and one tie in a heck of a game tonight. Here from Tad Gormley Stadium, Andrew Doak, 4th Down Friday. Ricardo.